Why is begotten such an important word? Yeah, begotten. That was one of those reasons why just my brain was about to explode studying so much because there's there's so much meaning and power in words. And when we talk about begotten and we see the the word in the Greek monogenes, only begotten, um, many, many times in Scripture, and it's referring always to the Son of God, to Jesus. Um, now, we understand in just a general sense that, you know, we can beget. You can have a son who's begotten of you. And it just means he's just like you coming from you. And there's a connection there. It's a, a connection of a father to a son or a parent to a child. But when speaking of Jesus, it's a, a term that relate uh, that discusses the relation between the father and the son. And we understand that this use of the word begotten does not mean that Jesus has an origin, but rather he is not only only begotten, but eternally begotten of the father, meaning that his his relation I think about his connection, but it really is his relation to the father is eternal and always there. So for as long as the father has been the father, which is forever, the son has always been the son begotten of the father. So it's a it's a a term. We also talk about it as filiation is the more technical term for it. Uh, But it's the fact that Jesus is not created. He doesn't have a birthday, but he's always been begotten from the father from the beginning of time. So it's it's a an expression of relation, e- eternal relations of origin. 